Okay, so we've started moving. There we go. And we are going 14. And then as soon as the second one starts up, it should boost it a bit. What we might be able to do is actually increase this by a lot more by actually adding more gearboxes. But I'm not sure. Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today, we are actually going to be adding a steam engine into our ocean liner. Now, that is something that a few of you guys have really wanted, so that is what we're going to do today. Completely ignore that in the background. I needed to lift it up so we could see the actual pro blah, 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 propellers for the, uh, for the thumbnail, but yes, ignore it. Um, something I've also done as well, actually, is I have moved the mast right here, this one. Uh, to the back instead of right here in the center and honestly I think that's okay so anyway let's go ahead and start building an engine and go from there so something in the previous video uh, was that we actually ended up having this section right here split off from this section right here uh, because we were gonna put the engines inside of here but that doesn't make sense because what this is actually for is the boilers so I think what we will do is have a boiler underneath that funnel and a boiler underneath this funnel and maybe the engine could actually be mounted in the center, but I don't feel like that makes sense. The engine should probably go at the back. So I think that's what we will end up doing. Anyway, uh, what shall we do right now? I think what I want to try and do is actually section this off, if I can. Um, this isn't something that I've really done before, but I want to be able to see properly. So we're going to go ahead and do this. And essentially, I've cut the top of the ship off. That's cool. All right, so let's go ahead and start building our little engines then. So let's go ahead and do this on both sides. Uh, it is going to be a singular engine to begin with. And then maybe if we need another one, we can go from there. But anyway, let's type in steam really quickly. We then need to get ourselves some pistons. We're going to go for large ones. And we're going to shove them on here. So there's one. Uh, there's two. There's three. There's four. And there's five. I think we're going to go with five. Yes. Uh, from there, what we're going to do is time them. So this one's going to be that, uh, which is minus... Whoa, why can't I click on this one? Uh, minus 0.5. That one is going to be positive 0.5. This one is going to be 0.25. There we go. Center is going to be zero. And this one is going to be minus 0.25. There we go. Now it's actually in time and should run quite nicely. All right, so from there, what are we going to do? Well, we need to go to pipes. And essentially, we are going to attach all of these guys together on both sides because we sort of need to so it's going to go all the way down there we are going to use this to attach each of those together there we go and right here as well just the same okay so this is steam out so this one is actually going to be angled backwards there we go and steam in is actually going to be angled forwards so that's fine whoa so let's go ahead and shove this guy in here this guy in here so essentially steam comes in from this side and it goes out on this side all we need to do is attach the rest of these guys together. So let's do that one right there. There we go. Good. We'll attach this guy down to there. And then all we need to do from there is grab one of these. Yep, one of these guys. And shove that going backwards. So this is steam out. Very nice. So that needs to go into like a condenser or something like that. On this side, this is obviously steam in. So we're all good there, at least for now. Go ahead and shove these guys onto here. And do this. Okay. There we go. Perfect. Nice. Uh, this is really messing with my camera angle, so let's just get rid of it. There we go. All right, cool. Nice. Yeah, so these are all connected together, and that is fine. Down here, we have the RPS. So let's go down to gearboxes. And essentially, we're going to shove a few gearboxes on here. Probably like five. There we go. All right, five gearboxes. Each of them are going to be three to one. And there we go. Okay, fantastic. There you go. Three to one, three to one, and three to one. Beautiful. From there, we're going to need a gear box. No, we're not. What am I saying? From there, we're actually going to need a boiler. So let's go ahead and grab one of those real quick. And this boiler is going to be mounted up here somewhere. So let's go one, two, three. There we go. We'll go three away. We'll shove a boiler straight onto here like this. And as long as this says steam out, I'm happy. Nope. Actually, you know what? What if we do it sideways? I think that would actually look nicer anyway. So I am going to shove this on here like so. Yeah, nice. So this is water in, which is not what we want. Let's go ahead and flip this around the other side. There we go. And now this is steam in, right? Steam out. Yes, that makes sense. 
So we're going to connect this pipe up to there. We're then going to connect this all the way down to the other end on the other side of a condenser. So there we go, steam is connected, very nice. On the other side, we don't actually have a condenser right now, so we need to do that next. Let's go ahead and do that. So condenser, there it is. We're gonna go ahead and shove this guy onto this end, just like so. And we're gonna connect it straight into there because we can. So this guy goes down to here. This is steam in because this is steam out, yes. Okay, and all we gotta do is connect that via a pipe. So this goes straight into there like so. This side is water out, so it actually needs to go back over this side and into there. Alright, so let's go ahead and shove this guy on here, send it all the way down to this end, and have it go straight into there with an angled pipe. There we go. So, we got ourselves our engine. This is essentially set up. Uh, obviously, we are going to need to have heat and stuff going into here. That's fine. And we are going to have to have cooling go into each of these. Now, I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do both of those just yet. But we just need to make sure this works to begin with. Right, so let's go ahead and get ourselves a... What are they actually called? A furnace? Yes, uh, so this is for the test that we're going to do. We're going to add a furnace onto here like this. And essentially, all we got to do is connect it on. Uh, which I can't currently do. Why can't I connect it via that? That's really weird. Oh, because this side actually has a piece. One second. If I do this, hey, that'll be fine. Uh, so we connect that onto there. We then have to connect some pipes onto here, and essentially, this will work just by doing this. There we go, so that goes this way, this goes this way. We pipe it straight up into there, and yeah, the engine should work, I guess. Alright, there we go, nice. Ah, that's actually pretty cool. So, before we do anything else, I am going to go to this guy, and I think if we just have free-flowing seawater going through this, I think that'll just end up working nicely anyway. So let's go ahead and cool it with some seawater. Here we go. Shove this guy into the floor. Oh, we're lagging. There we go. Shove that into the floor. Get ourselves a pump. And we're going to shove a pump on this side. Go one way and a pump going the other way right there. Then all we need is a button like this one. We'll shove that button right here for now. And we'll connect this guy to there. We'll also connect it to here and here, and that should allow this engine to actually work. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is uh, maybe a bit weird to you guys, possibly, but I'm going to go ahead and attach that onto there. I'm going to send this to the center. Oh, I need to do this on both sides. I hate when I forget, but there you go. That goes there. This goes to the center, pretty much. And then this guy goes on here. The main reason for this is because we are actually going to go ahead and build a wall in here. Uh, you're not going to know that this is here, if that makes sense, uh, if you're down in the bottom of this ship. Um, but essentially what this allows us to do is send this guy this way, just like so. And we can actually have a thingamabobby on there. A, um, like a, a, a shroud, I guess. Something around it that makes it look bigger than it is, if that makes sense. So let's go ahead and shove this guy into here, this guy into here, and we just got to see if it works. That's all we got to do now. So let's go ahead and spawn it in. Push this button, that should allow this to heat up, which will heat up the boiler. The boiler will then send steam through each of these, uh, which then goes through here and returns it back in uh, as water, and then it continues and cycles. This gets cooled by this, and the power goes down there. Sure. Alright, so I've pushed the button, and this is now heating up in temperature. Very nice. If we have a little look up here, this is also heating up. Once the temperature of this gets to 100, it will actually start producing steam. Once it's producing steam, these guys will all move, which then produces RPS to these guys, which then goes straight into the propellers, pushing us forwards. At least I hope that is what's going to happen right now. And there we go. These guys are moving. Very nice. These guys actually move at a very, very, very low RPM or RPS. Uh, but as soon as you put it through a gearbox, it actually gets up to like 19, which is nice. So let's have a little look at the outside. And you can see the propellers are moving, and this is the ship moving too. Awesome. So, currently I would say this is probably moving us a little bit too slow. So what I want to do is actually move this off to the side, and we'll actually have two of these engines built next to each other. I don't know, is that a cool idea or is that not a cool idea? I don't, I don't know. Okay, so let's go ahead and cut this. We'll move it off to the side. And I guess we'll shove it, like, all the way over here somewhere. I actually want, like, a, a tiny walkway down the center. So I'll actually go ahead and shove that there. That's good. 
We're then gonna go ahead and essentially put the same thing on the other side, but it needs to be the same a distance away. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, over two, I believe. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, paste that in right there. Awesome. So let's go ahead and merge this guy down to the ground. We're then gonna actually merge this guy down to the ground. And I don't know whether we should have that one controlling just that propeller on that side, or whether we should have them both controlling both, if that makes sense. Which I think sort of does make sense, but let's go ahead and delete this for now. There we go. We are actually going to go ahead and delete this. However, there's a big however here. We're not really too worried about what's going to happen. Because we're just going to go ahead and shove this guy straight into this wall. There we go. We're going to have this guy go down. Uh, connect on to the rest of this using these guys. So let's go ahead and just shove that into there and there. There we go. And we're also going to connect it down to here. So we need an angled piece that sends this one upwards. And then we need a T piece like this guy that sends that one downwards. Hey, nice. All right, cool. So now that we've got two of these, we should be able to run hopefully a little bit quicker. All right, so let's do one and we'll wait a few seconds. One, two, three, four, five, and then we'll turn this one on. Essentially what we're doing there is we're gonna be able to see the difference from up here. As soon as we start moving to begin with, we've got another like five seconds before the next engine kicks in. So I'll actually be able to see the difference in the speed. At least I think so. We could add dials and a speedo, but we don't need to. We don't need to. We're going to see what happens in a second. Oh, wow. This wall is actually poking through. Oh, there it goes. So this is one engine. Okay, that's one engine. And now I believe this is two. Yeah, I think so. That, I mean, to be fair, that looks like it's moving at a decent speed. So I think overall, I'm actually somewhat happy with that. Yeah, that's definitely a decent speed. Sure. So you might be wondering, what about the actual boilers then? Well, yes, you are correct. It does sort of need boilers. However, there is a big however here as well. Uh, we don't necessarily need them to work, if that makes sense, because our electricity furnaces, or electric furnaces, do work quite well. The only issue with them is obviously they don't produce smoke. So what am I thinking? Well, what if we actually have fake smoke? So we actually introduce like a bunch of boilers down in the bottom, and they actually do produce smoke and pump it out the top. But it isn't actually connected to anything. I mean, we could do do it where it is connected. But I'm not sure if that's even worth doing. If that makes sense. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Should we have it where it works? Or should we have it where it's just fake? I don't really know. I feel like it's easier to just leave it as is. And it doesn't really change anything. But let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Anyway, for now, I'm going to go ahead and say thank you guys very much for watching. The ship moves, which is awesome. And yeah, I'm happy with it. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.